Imagine learning that the ancient nation of Israel, once united under Kings David and Solomon, eventually fractured and lost ten of its tribes, which vanished from history. This mystery has captivated biblical scholars, historians, and believers alike. These lost tribes were not just ordinary groups, they were the bedrock of Israel's spiritual and national identity. The disappearance of ten of the twelve tribes has intrigued people for millennia, raising questions about their fate and what role they might play in biblical prophecy, especially concerning the end times. The Bible reveals that God chose the tribes of Israel for a special purpose, but due to disobedience and sin, they were scattered across the world. Today, groups from Ethiopia, India, Asia, and even the Americas claim to be descended from these lost tribes. Could their reappearance be a sign that ancient prophecies are being fulfilled? And what does this mean for the final chapter of human history? Biblical Origins, The Twelve Tribes of Israel The story of the Twelve Tribes of Israel begins with Jacob, the grandson of Abraham. Jacob, who was later renamed Israel, had twelve sons, each of whom became the patriarch of a tribe. These tribes are Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, Zebulun. Joseph, whose sons Ephraim and Manasseh were each given tribal inheritances, and Benjamin. Together, these tribes formed the nation of Israel. Jacob's prophetic blessings, as recorded in Genesis 49, describe the unique destiny of each tribe. When the Israelites finally settled in the Promised Land, the tribes were allotted specific territories. However, after the reign of Solomon, the United Kingdom of Israel split. The Northern Kingdom, called Israel, comprised ten tribes, while the Southern Kingdom, called Judah, was made up of the tribes of Judah and Benjamin. This division set the stage for the eventual scattering of the northern tribes. The division and dispersion of the tribes following the reign of Solomon, the once united kingdom split due to internal strife and rebellion. The southern kingdom, Judah, remained loyal to the line of David, while the northern kingdom, Israel, became a hotbed of idolatry and political instability. Despite warnings from prophets like Hosea and Amos, the northern tribes continued to disobey God's covenant. In 722 BC, judgment came. The Assyrian Empire invaded the northern kingdom and captured its people, dispersing them throughout its vast territories. According to 2 Kings 17.6, the king of Assyria deported Israel to Assyria, settling them in places like Hala and on the Habor River. This scattering led to the gradual absorption of the northern tribes into surrounding cultures, effectively erasing their distinct identities and earning them the title the Lost Tribes of Israel. But were these tribes truly lost? Some believe they were simply hidden, waiting for a prophetic return in the end times. Modern claims to descent from the Lost Tribes over the centuries, various groups from around the world have claimed descent from these Lost Tribes. Despite being scattered and geographically isolated, these groups have preserved Jewish customs, traditions, and beliefs. Here are some notable groups that believe they are descendants of the Lost Tribes. 1. Beta Israel Ethiopian Jews The Beta Israel, also known as the Ethiopian Jews, claim descent from the tribe of Dan. Their presence in Ethiopia dates back thousands of years. They have maintained Jewish customs like observing the Sabbath, practicing circumcision, following kosher dietary laws, and celebrating Jewish festivals, even during periods of isolation. Their connection to the lost tribe of Dan was recognized by Israel in the late 20th century, leading to their mass migration to Israel in operations like Operation Moses 1984 and Operation Solomon 1991. 2. Bene Israel Indian Jews Located primarily in western India, the Bene Israel trace their roots back to the lost tribe of Ephraim. According to their oral tradition, their ancestors were shipwrecked on the Indian coast centuries ago during the Assyrian exile. Despite centuries of isolation, the Bene Israel preserved Jewish customs, such as observing the Sabbath and circumcision. In recent decades, many Bene Israel have migrated to Israel. 3. 
Pashtun tribes Afghanistan and Pakistan, the Pashtun people, also known as the Pathans, claim descent from the tribes of Ephraim and Manasseh. Many Pashtun tribes practice customs that are strikingly similar to those of ancient Israel, such as circumcision on the eighth day and the avoidance of pork. Their oral tradition consistently refers to their Israelite heritage, with some Pashtun tribes even carrying names that resemble the names of Israelite tribes. 4. Igbo Jews, Nigeria. The Igbo people of Nigeria claim descent from the tribes of Gad and Zebulun. They maintain a strong cultural tradition with practices similar to Judaism, including circumcision on the eighth day, dietary laws, and the observance of certain religious festivals. While their claims have not been widely recognized by the Jewish community, the Igbo Jews' connection to the lost tribes adds another layer to the mystery of Israel's scattered descendants. Prophetic significance of the lost tribes' return. One of the most intriguing aspects of the lost tribes is their potential role in biblical prophecy. Several passages in the Bible hint at the return of the lost tribes in the end times, suggesting that their reappearance will play a key role in God's ultimate plan for humanity. For instance, Ezekiel 37, 21 to 22, prophesies that God will gather the people of Israel from the nations and bring them back to their land, where they will be united under one king. This regathering is often interpreted as a future event, part of the messianic age when all the tribes of Israel will be reunited. Similarly, in Matthew 19, 28, Jesus speaks of the regeneration when the Son of Man will sit on his throne and the twelve apostles will judge the twelve tribes of Israel. This suggests that the lost tribes will have a significant role in the kingdom of God during the end times. Are the lost tribes still out there? While the fate of the ten lost tribes remains shrouded in mystery, the various claims of descent from these tribes provide tantalizing clues. Could the Beta Israel, Bene Israel, Pashtun, and Igbo Jews be the descendants of the lost tribes? And if so, does their reappearance signal the fulfillment of biblical prophecies regarding the end times? Some believe that the lost tribes are still out there, hidden among the nations, waiting for the right moment to re-emerge. Others argue that their identity has been irreversibly lost to history. Regardless of where the truth lies, the story of the Lost Tribes continues to capture the imagination of believers and scholars alike. The growing interest in the Igbo people of Nigeria and their potential connection to the ancient tribes of Israel has been a topic of intrigue for scholars, religious groups, and members of the Igbo community alike. Many members of the Igbo community have formally converted to mainstream Judaism in recent years, seeking to reconnect with what they believe is their long-lost heritage. This movement is part of a larger trend across Africa, where various ethnic groups claim descent from the ten lost tribes of Israel. Among these are the Igbo, who claim to trace their lineage to the tribes of Gad and Zebulun, raising the possibility that many more such groups could emerge in the future. The Igbo and their connection to ancient Israel. The idea that the Igbo people might have descended from the ancient Israelites is not a new one. For centuries, the Igbo have maintained oral traditions that link their ancestry to the ancient tribes of Israel. These traditions include similarities in religious practices such as circumcision on the eighth day, the observance of the Sabbath, and dietary laws that mirror the kosher laws of Judaism. Some Igbo historians have also pointed to cultural and linguistic similarities between the Igbo people and the Israelites, adding weight to these claims. In recent years, a number of Igbo have formally converted to Judaism. Choosing to observe mainstream Jewish practices as a way of reconnecting with what they believe to be their ancestral faith. This religious shift has been supported by Israeli authorities, who have allowed some members of the Igbo community to immigrate to Israel. For many, this move represents more than just a religious conversion. It is seen as a return to their long-lost heritage and a fulfillment of biblical prophecy. African tribes and the lost tribes of Israel, the Igbo, are not the only group in Africa to claim descent from the lost tribes of Israel. Across the continent, there has been a growing interest in uncovering these ancient connections. This trend is particularly pronounced among groups that claim descent from the ten lost tribes of Israel who were scattered after the Assyrian conquest of the Northern Kingdom in 722 BCE. 
One of the most well-known examples is the Lemba people, who live primarily in Zimbabwe and South Africa. The Lemba have long claimed to be descendants of the tribe of Levi, the priestly class of ancient Israel. Their oral traditions suggest that their ancestors migrated from the Middle East to Africa centuries ago, bringing with them religious practices that resemble ancient Jewish customs. These include the observance of circumcision, kosher-like dietary laws, and the practice of keeping the Sabbath. The Lemba and their genetic link to Israel. The Lemba's claims to Israelite ancestry have long intrigued scholars and historians, but recent genetic testing has lent new credibility to their story. DNA studies have shown that a significant percentage of the Lemba population carries the Cohen modal haplotype, a genetic marker associated with the priestly line of Aaron, Moses' brother, who was the founder of the Levitical priesthood. This discovery has strengthened the argument that the Lemba are indeed descendants of the tribe of Levi, and it adds a fascinating dimension to the story of the lost tribes of Israel. The Lemba's story is particularly compelling because it suggests that the priestly line of Levi, though scattered across the globe, has managed to survive in some of the most unexpected corners of the world. Their customs, oral traditions, and genetic markers all point to a deep connection with the ancient Israelites, raising the possibility that their return, both spiritually and physically, could be part of the prophetic regathering of Israel that is central to many biblical prophecies. The prophetic significance of the lost tribes. The Bible makes it clear that the lost tribes of Israel are not forgotten by God. In fact, their return is central to the end-time prophecies of the Bible. One of the most vivid descriptions of this eventual regathering is found in Ezekiel 37, where the prophet Ezekiel is shown a vision of a valley filled with dry bones. In this prophecy, God promises to breathe life back into these bones, symbolizing the restoration of the scattered tribes of Israel. Ezekiel 7.22 states, I will make them one nation in the land on the mountains of Israel. There will be one king over all of them, and they will never again be two nations or be divided into two kingdoms. This prophecy foretells a future time when the lost tribes of Israel will be restored and reunited with the southern kingdom of Judah, forming a single unified Israel under the reign of the Messiah. This event is seen as a key moment in the unfolding of God's plan for the end times. In Isaiah 11:12, the prophet speaks of the second regathering of Israel indicating that God will once again reach out to reclaim his people from across the world. The verse states, He will raise a banner for the nations and gather the exiles of Israel. He will assemble the scattered people of Judah from the four quarters of the earth. This verse is not just a reference to the return from Babylonian exile. It points to a much larger event, a global regathering that includes the lost tribes of the northern kingdom. Many believe that this prophecy is being fulfilled at least in part, through the return of groups like the Beta Israel of Ethiopia and the Bene Israel of India. The reappearance of these groups is seen as a sign that the ultimate fulfillment of these prophecies is drawing nearer, and that all twelve tribes of Israel will eventually return to their ancient homeland. The role of the lost tribes in the end times. The book of Revelation also reinforces the idea that the lost tribes of Israel have a crucial role to play in the end times. In Revelation 7, the twelve tribes are once again represented, with 144,000 individuals, 12,000 from each tribe, being sealed for protection during the Great Tribulation. This passage reaffirms that the lost tribes, though scattered, have not been forgotten by God and will play a significant role in His final plan for humanity. The return of the lost tribes is not just a historical curiosity, it is a central part of biblical prophecy that will culminate in the messianic age. According to the Bible, the lost tribes will be restored, reunited with Judah, and will play a key role in the establishment of God's kingdom on earth. This regathering is seen as a supernatural act of God, a sign that the final days are near, as more groups claiming descent from the lost tribes continue to emerge. The world watches for the fulfillment of these ancient prophecies. Their reappearance serves as a reminder that God's promises never fail and that the return of the Messiah is drawing ever closer. The story of the ten lost tribes of Israel is far from over. 
While their fate seemed uncertain for centuries, the Bible assures us that God has not forgotten His people. Through groups like the Beta Israel of Ethiopia and the Pashtuns of Afghanistan, we are beginning to see the early stages of their return. In sum, the interest in uncovering the lost tribes of Israel continues to grow, particularly among groups like the Igbo and the Lemba, who see their return as part of a larger prophetic plan. As we move closer to the fulfillment of these prophecies, the reappearance of the lost tribes is a clear sign that God's ultimate plan for Israel and for the world is unfolding before our eyes.